Hi ABC, uh, today I'm going to demonstrate how we do our popcorn sheep and this, for all you jellyfish families, this project is in the latest packet that I sent out. Um, so I hope that you watch this video and complete the project as, you know, as I complete it. And then also make it your own. Okay, here we go. So before we get started on our sheep popcorn sheep, I want to make sure that you guys know exactly what materials you need to, to be having. So we have the worksheet with our sheep on it and you, you know, your child can color this worksheet beforehand if, if they want. It's really totally up to them. Um, I've got glue. I like to use sometimes both Elmer's glue, regular and liquid glue, and then also glue sticks, depending on where I am in a project. I've got my little bowl of popcorn. I have scissors, construction paper, and you can use whatever color. I wanted to use a lighter color, like gray. Um, you can also use white or light blue or light green, yellow, whatever you want. It just depends on how you want to create the scene afterwards. I plan on painting some, maybe some trees or some flowers around my sheep. So I went with a gray. Uh, so and then I've got my brown paint for trees, yellow, green paint for flowers and, and trees also. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we are gonna do is cut out our sheep. It's a great cutting exercise for scallops and straight edges. And it's also a wonderful opportunity to practice turning our paper instead of using our wrists to get around and around the sheep. So once I'm done cutting, I'm going to get rid of my scraps, get them out of my way, and I'm going to use glue to then glue down my sheep to my construction paper. I'm using a liquid glue, but you can use a glue stick or a liquid glue, whatever it is that you want. Once I have it secure, I am going to use my liquid glue and do one line all the way around my sheep's body. I'm going to start with the outside just to make sure that this feels good and right for me. I am cutting, breaking up my popcorn to make it the size that I want. You can leave your popcorn kernels as big or make them as small as you want. This is your sheep. This is your project. There is no right or wrong way to do it. So I'm going all the way around and then I'm going to move towards the center. So just like I've done, you might need to add more glue to your center. You can really fill it in if this is what works for you. Then we're gonna add our glue, I'm sorry, we are gonna add our popcorn all the way throughout the body. Remember, you can paint your sheep or color in its legs, its face. You can even color in its fur if you really want to before you start this project. I chose to leave my whole sheep white, but you can color it in however you want. And don't forget to add popcorn to the tail and to the ears. Got to make your sheep as fluffy as possible. Now it's time to start creating my scene. So I'm going to make some trees and painting using brown paint and a paintbrush to start making my tree trunk. You can make whatever scene you want but I thought it would be nice to have my sheep in a nice little field forest. So I'm gonna make two trees and have my sheep be right in the center. I'm gonna use green paint and a different paintbrush to then create the top of my tree. I'm also gonna use the green paint to create a grass 
C area, and you can do this too. Now I'm going to use my yellow paint, and I am going to just dot it all around the green grass to create the illusion of yellow flowers. And there you have it. Our sheep project is complete. I hope you have a great time.